Good morning. Yeah, <laughs> it's morning. I prefer to do my workout first thing in the morning now that my coffee has been brewed. Before I take a swig, I like to count to 25 by doing what is known as those incline push-ups. It's like, oh, <laughs> just doing that alone will wake you up because it's stretching out your body. Ugh. Okay, count to 25. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, and then hold it. <laughs> yeah, feels good to hold it. <laughs> uh, Okay, now walk slowly towards the kitchen counter. Um, put your shoulders back a little bit, you know? Okay. You've earned a cup of coffee. <laughs> Have some coffee. <laughs> uh. <sighs> that felt good. Yeah, I am in love with push-ups. Uh, you know, they help wake you up. You know, it improves the blood circulation right off the bat. And, uh, well, after you do your push-ups, you pretty much are ready to go do anything else you need to go do. Now, I also like to work on the legs. So let's work on the legs. Now that you've had your coffee, wake up your legs. If you have a carpet in front of your sink, feel free to use it as it makes a great guideline, as you will see. Okay, first, lift up your left leg up to your hip line five times. Two, three. Four, five, same thing with the right. One, two, three, four, five. Now take your feet and uh, do a little stretching. You're going to come with your left leg and bring it to the right side and just stretch it. See? Up, all the way down. It works this part of the leg. It works the entire leg, actually. <laughs> and then do the same thing with the other leg. Come over. And then just it just stretches it out. It feels so much better. It's waking you up as you're doing it. Okay, now do a little uh, <coughs> off to the side dance with the right leg. Five times. Three, four, five. Same thing with the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're gonna do the same thing from behind. Let's see if I can do this correctly. With the camera, okay. Is that catching it? I think so. I see my foot, okay. Just take it and go backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. And as you'll see, because you're extended, it's working your derriere. <laughs> Okay, another way to get going in the mornings is have one of these things. It's a resistance band. Obviously, the best invention for a home workout ever created, I think. They cost like five bucks. You know, you can pick one up at Ross. <laughs> I love Ross. Yeah, okay. Now, it's, you know, got a rubber band thing on it, and it's got two handles. Basically, what you do while you're standing is you put your foot on the bottom there on the rubber band, and lift up with your hands. Look at that. It's like, oh, it feels good. Yeah, I work out in my pajamas because I can't see any reason to go change my clothes just because of doing some push-ups and crunches. <laughs> it's why I don't go to the gym. I don't need to go get dressed to go somewhere to do my push-ups and crunches. And, oh, just waking up, you know? Just, oh, it feels good. Okay, now go crisscross. See? It's like, ah, oh, it just feels good. Oh, you should be awake by the time you finish doing these. <laughs> I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to show you another method for using this resistance pad. <laughs> Sit down in your chair. Ugh, oh, you're in the kitchen. Why not, right? Uh, grab the handles. Put your hands through it. Open palm. You're going to put your foot where the rubber band part is, but don't hit yourself. <laughs> so basically, you're going to raise your leg. Now just by 
doing that, raising your leg up and down in the rubber band, you're engaging your stomach, your core, and you're strengthening your leg. <laughs> Make sure the toe is pointed. Now just start pulling up towards your face while your foot is extended, your toe is pointed, and then just keep down, up, down, up, <laughs> up, down. Basically, so you're working your entire arm, you're working your leg, you're working your stomach all at the same time. That's why I like resistance bands. They really are a fabulous invention. Exchange legs. Again, wiggle your toe. Come towards your face. Go under, go up, go under, go up, go under, go up. That's, again, engaging your stomach, your leg, just by going up and down. <laughs> it gives you a little less. I don't know, flexibility maybe, huh? Now take both feet and bring it up and stretch out. Now again, you know, it's going to feel maybe a little, I don't know, difficult, but it's not difficult. Just the whole object is to push that rubber band down with your feet while pulling up with your hands. And the whole time you're just in this position. You know, it's pretty comfy, really. And your stomach is tightening, your legs are stretching and tightening, and you're getting some good balance. <laughs> and life is all about balance. Yeah. <sighs> okay. You should be awake by now, but if not, go grab another swig of your coffee. I always do. <laughs> uh, so it's time for me to <laughs> get ready to go to work. i got to go change my clothes. Um, I'm going to give you a slight recap here. Just remember, push-ups are your best friend. Exercise is your best friend. You can do anywhere from 5 to 10 to 15 to 20. Increase your push-ups every day. You know, start off slow if you need to, but just try to do more every day. I do prefer the 25, you know, because increments of 25 is a lot easier for me. And then I can do between 100 and 200 a day <laughs> just by just dropping and doing 25 whenever I get that urge. And it does wake you up. Push-ups are the overall best, I say, the best exercise. <laughs> they do. They just feel good to do. Also, while you're still standing at the sink, don't forget you can do your leg exercises. You come up, bring the knee to the hip line. And do that five times, up and down. Two, three, four. Five. I started doing these because of my hip replacement surgery and it strengthens the muscle around the prosthesis. So do them every day. The other side, same thing. One, two, three, four, five. Feel free to make this carpet work for you. Use the perimeter, stretch out if you need to. Hold your arm up, you know. But basically when you're stretching this way, you're extending this section. Stretch again to that way and then do like a little dance, you know. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Pretty easy, right? Walk up to your carpet, get up on your toes, and actually, you can pretend, isometrics, that you're walking up a flight of stairs simply by going through the motion, you know, up on your toe, up on your knee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So you don't actually need to run. You don't need to do jumping and all that to get your heart rate pumping. You know, just say no to the running and just do isometrics. Just do it right where you're at. You don't need to walk anywhere. <laughs> See, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You, you, you catch my drift here, right? <laughs> it can all be done right in front of your kitchen sink. You can do it in your pajamas and uh, have your coffee while you're at it. <laughs> yeah, coffee, America's answer to legal speed. <sighs> okay, I'm going to go change my clothes. I'll be right back. All right, shower done, hair and makeup done. I'm dressed, getting ready to head to work. I did want to state that, uh, no, I'm not a qualified physical instructor, <laughs> but, you know, 
at 55 and being an ex-dancer who still loves to dance and being an ex-wrestler who has undergone complete bilateral hip replacement surgery, I do think I'm qualified enough to at least let you know that there is some benefits to doing your push-ups and crunches every morning before you head out that door. Mainly, you know, because you're going to feel good. But, you know, it's not about just what you look like physically. You know, yeah, sure, we all want to fit in our jeans. <laughs> These are still my jeans I've had forever. I, I weigh the same amount that I've weighed my entire life, 130 pounds. You know, my measurements are still the same, which is 36, 28, 38. And I attribute that to the fact that I've been doing my exercise every day. When I went through menopause, I didn't have any problems, <laughs> you know. I, the exercise has some underlining benefits that doesn't entail just what you look like physically. It's going to be how you feel physically, and particularly, you know, how you feel just walking around, you know, because it, it forces you to keep your posture good. You know, it's like your brain. You got to use it every day. Your writing skills, you got to use them every day. Or you're going to forget how to do it. If you don't exercise every day, your muscles are going to get atrophied. Okay, granted, as we get older, we all get wrinkled. But I'm going to be like Jack LaLanne, okay? <laughs> I don't care how wrinkled I get. I plan on still having some strength if I can. Now, the best benefit to doing your exercise, particularly your crunches, is to ensure that you don't get type 2 diabetes. Yeah, that's right. You can eat all the donuts you want, all the bread you want, all the pasta you want, but you gotta do your crunches. Because, you know, you run the risk of getting type 2 diabetes when your stomach gets past your belt line. It's okay to get a big butt, but if your stomach gets past your belt line, then you run the risk of getting type 2 diabetes. And if you get type 2 diabetes, it's not pretty, okay? I've seen a lot of people that have it. I know what they're dealing with. You know, it's, it's kind of sad to see them spend thousands of dollars a month on pills rather than do some crunches. It's sad to see them have to change a diaper rather than do some crunches. It's sad to see them lose their eyesight rather than do some crunches. Type 1 diabetes, that's not preventable, that's hereditary. But type 2, you can prevent simply by doing your crunches. So, you know, you gotta, you got to want to do it for you. And not just because it's going to make you look better, but because it's going to save you thousands of dollars in the future. And you're going to feel better. So, yeah. Do your push-ups and crunches in the morning. And i got a feeling the rest of your day is going to go pretty good. <laughs> okay? Let me know if you choose to use these tips at all. Outside of that, yeah, I gotta go to work. So, go do some push-ups and crunches if you get a chance, okay? Bye.